Wrestling. Oh, wow. Wrestling? Okay. You know what? No, never mind. Okay. I want so bad that we just upload that. Just that. <laughs> you guys have no idea. Patreon subscribers are like, oh, sweet. A new early episode of Journey of Wrestling. I cannot wait to tune in. It is four seconds long. <laughs> I like that bit because it implies that we're just always right next to each other and you sometimes decide to start recording. <laughs> we use the same computer. It has we're two just monitors. Statler we just take and Waldorf. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, we've ascended to our final form. Uh, like the video. Comment on the video. Subscribe to the video. Hey, we really do appreciate y'all. You guys have been commenting and liking and subscribing, and I try to react to each of those if I don't have time or anything of merit to say in comments. So I really appreciate that. I really love hearing about your own journey of wrestling experiences. I really love the tips you guys give us because we're dumb. We don't always remember those. Uh, full disclosure, we try. We're just, again, very, very stupid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, the... Uh, Patreon, you can get early episodes. They're a week early. That's pretty cool. Five dollars is all it takes. And that makes me happy. Like, makes you cool. Yeah, yeah. Makes you cool like Rob and a guy from Ohio. Um, I stream on Twitch. We have a podcast on this channel. Uh, books, you can buy them. And we got a Discord. That's about it. That's Wrap it, it up. Let's do this. Let's, let's do this shit. We are um, partway through, although mostly just at the beginning of the build up to... WrestleMania. It is the year 2000. WrestleMania 2000. A the the video year. game. Yeah. A, a banner, banner year for WrestleManias. Um, let me see here. So I think we've got everybody doing stuff. We already started all of our indie shit. I believe we can just book. I kind of forget what ha what was going on. It's been not too long, but it's only been like, like part of a week. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll get back on the on the train. Um, why why don't you? Uh, I don't have a cleaner way to say this. Get up and turn off the heat because I forgot and I'll vamp. So, we have got uh, Raven versus John Tento, which is still going because it's really over. Uh, Dan Severn versus Hiroshi Tanahashi. Um, the storyline with that is that Hiroshi really wants to fight Dan Severn. Uh, and Dan Severn's like, fuck off, kid. Um, I don't think he's had a win. No, he did. He wanted the last pay-per-view. He wanted the pay-per-view. To keep, the, to, keep it to, to make it, you know. Yeah, so now that it's going the other way, uh, Severn is insulted that Tanahashi beat him. It was a fluke, fuck you, mm -hmm. I'm Dan Severn, I'm gonna kill your soul. Uh, Jushin Liger is up against Sable, because Sable can wrestle now, so we're doing that. Um, Chris Jericho and Kurt Angle are fighting over the title. Uh, the Sable gimmick was, uh... Sable tried to use her feminine wiles on Jushin, and he was like, nah, I'm all right. That's fine. That's, we're good. And she was upset, uh, offended, that he would that he would turn her down, mm -hmm. and therefore she wants to be... Because, again, she's the heel here, so she has to be kind of an asshole. Right. Uh, so she's, she's trying to get revenge. This is part of a larger over-arc for them of they just lost the pay-per-view, and now they're trying to get some of their own back. Right. Um... Mick Foley versus Eddie Guerrero. We called this receipts. Do you remember why they're feuding? Um, I, Eddie lost the pay per view. Uh huh. And I, uh, I think the original thing was we put them in just a random match, and then like something happened in the match that Eddie was just super pissed about, so he decides okay. to, to to give some receipts. Okay. And then Owen Hart is up against the Godfather uh, because of some disrespect. Uh, Owen is a merry prankster, as we all know. Yeah, he, he ribs Godfather. Godfather, having just lost the pay-per-view, doesn't take it well. <laughs> okay, so let's get these feuds on the card. Um, <clears throat> I'm glad I remembered most of that. Yeah, good job, man, because I forgot a lot of it. Uh, I also forgot that our feuds have titles, and that might have been helpful if I had paid any fucking attention to that. So, um... I'd say let's get our main event going here first. So uh, that's Jericho, Jericho and Angle. Jericho and um, Angle. That's I, this. These guys don't need to be. This is the WrestleMania main event. These yeah. guys are not going to be in a singles match until the WrestleMania main event. Sounds good to me. So let's do a segment with that. Um, we we like, could start it off by having him be on talk as Jericho. Who else would be on talk as Jericho though? Does it have to be three? Yes. Oh, 
Hmm. Hmm. I mean, if it's actually that, we could just do a promo battle. It gets you the the hype arrows. I don't think there's. Yeah, we could. We could. Uh, we could home do... invasion. <laughs> No, we. That's a little. That escalated quickly. Smack talk's also available. No, I'd say let's do let's do um, promo battle. Okay. Just just have it start with a, with a promo battle. I want to find a reason to have Kurt Angle on talk his Jericho before long. <coughs> uh, I'm sure we can figure out a way to work that out. Um. Okay, so that's our main event title feud. Our secondary title feud is, I believe, Raven versus John Tenta. Yeah, it's so fucking over, and it's not got much in the way of staleness. But if we really ramp it up, we can finish it at WrestleMania. Um, we already did a backstage attack and a promo ambush. Yeah, Raven uh, is super pissed about having lost to John Tenta. Because he did, So, right? yes, yeah. he did. Um... Do we want to have a stable over here on Raw? I don't think we really have any, do we? No, uh, the stables mostly ended up on Thunder, honestly. So, um... You trying to bring... Gonna bring back the flock? Uh, something like that, because Vampiro's just kind of floating. He's a heel. Raven's a heel. Pierre Oulet is a heel. Yeah, we got Pierre Oulet. That would be pretty cool. So, um... I'm thinking maybe, like, Raven versus John Tenta non-title... We we eat the the ratings loss first, and then have Raven win because Vampire interfered. Yeah, and then just do a big stable debut thing. Ooh, make it so. All right, so what's Pierre Lee's gimmick? Um, he is. Uh, that's a great question. Why does it not say? Oh, view details. Here we go. Unstable lunatic. Yes. Raven as as basically CM Punk, <laughs> and we we're gonna we're gonna have CM Punk tune, so that's good. Um. But, uh, along with Vampiro as a vampire, and then their crazy asshole friend with Paul Ellering as, like, the Ric Flair. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I like Airsat's goth evolution. Let's do it. <laughs> um, alright, so we book Raven versus John Tenta in a match. Non-title. Non-title. Edit, remove title. Okay, and then we're gonna book a segment. Um, Factions. Debut faction. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we don't have all of them. That's so nice. Because the Brood and DX are both on Thunder. Oh, I, I did the wrong thing here. Let's go singles, faction. Um, merge, split, create faction. New power. New power. Um, okay, so the thing is... Oh, good, we get to name them here. Yeah, we get... Raven. Raven. We get... Vampiro. Vampiro. We get Paul Ellering. Paul Ellering. And we get Pierre Oulet. Should we should we list Paul after Pierre? Um, I don't know why, but sure. Like I I, just, I, I look, we all have our problems, that's one of my I clicked away from it and it it left. It undid it all, I bet. It done undid everything. That's fine. Uh we need a faction name. Do I we... mean Bud, the flock is a good name. You don't need to overthink it. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Faction name. The flock. And uh, the leader is Raven. Okay. Booked. And then what we can do is we can make Paul Ellering the manager for all of those people. Yeah, yeah. We can go ahead and do that. Uh, just because it's cleaner that mm -hmm, way. Mm -hmm. And and then we can get Pierre Lay in in segments with Raven. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'll help. <laughs> Which counts as him participating, so it raises his charisma. All right. Um, so that'll be fun. Uh, what other feuds do we have? Severn versus Tanahashi. Um, I don't think that needs to be a match. I think it should be a segment. I think I think it can easily be a segment. I don't get I'm not against that. Um Promo battle, promo ambush, um, smack talk. Those are all good. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, that looks like pretty much it. Any of those are fine by me. Okay, um, I'm going to say we're trying to raise up Tanahashi. Mm. So maybe just a fight, honestly. Yeah. All right, they fight backstage. All right, let's get some wrestling on this show. Yeah, let's get some more wrestling. Uh, 
We could do some straight up tag team stuff. Yeah, uh, uh, bring and that's a good use of your uh, homewreckers ink. Yeah, that's true. Good point. So yeah, just do that. So, Sable and the Godfather against Owen Hart and Jushin Liger. That's not a good match or anything. <laughs> um, what about Foley and Guerrero? Um, that could be a match. There's no reason for that. There's no reason for that not to be a match. They don't have like an inherent story reason to not actually just be fighting. Maybe uh, Guerrero just demands another match against Mick. Yeah, I think that's a good main event. Um, okay. And then like Mick, Mick deals out some receipts of his own. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. We'll see who needs a win more, and go from there. Uh, I believe that's our feuds. I think we got him out of the way pretty easy. So we got five segments left. <clears throat> we got the hurricane. Oh, uh, let's get him a win. Yeah, he came in and beat um, somebody. I don't remember who either, but it was... I thought he came in and on Thunder. No, it says Raw. Don't hit the back button on the browser, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> that will make me sad. Um, I think there was a brief idea of having him beat Mortis, but I, I think he ended up beating Vampiro. Yeah, I think whoever showed up on Thunder beat Mortis. Yeah. Um, uh, Matt Hardy's not doing anything. Yeah, let's have him beat Matt Hardy. Fuck it. There we go. Book that. Poor Matt Hardy. <laughs> um, man, we don't need a feud on that. No. Wow, it says that now. I don't ever remember seeing that pop up before. No, maybe that's, it did. Maybe it's an update. Maybe maybe we're dumb. Or Again. maybe we're just dumb, yeah. Uh, Farouk and Bradshaw, they're feuding over on Thunder, right? Yeah, they're in a feud with the Aranis, I believe. All right. Um, maybe could get uh, too much a win. I don't hate that over idea. Over the Millennium Dragons. Like I think, you know, it's just it's just a match. It's a match that can happen. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Now that, that leaves us some room for some more segments if you wanted some. Yeah. Who do we have that could do a good segment here? Um. I mean, we've got most of the card on the card. We there. do. We did a pretty good job here. So, uh, let's go ahead and hype WrestleMania. Yeah, get that in early. Um, since we've got time for it, boost event hype go and uh hmm returning superstar and level two producer uh how long is take her out for oh yeah we could do the triple h return package yeah or we could do it for edge who's tr who's like terminally injured well he's on the other show do it for both fuck it uh injured month or two away so too he long. Must, yeah, he must be too far out. Okay. Um, what is new? Oh, add faction numbers. Okay. Well, could just do an interview with whom? Um, you know, there's nothing stopping us from utilizing Farouk and Bradshaw over here, they could just do, like, a promo. Yeah, get themselves over. I yeah, like that. Just, um, like, a spirited promo or a comedy bit. Maybe they're having, like, a backstage poker game. Yeah. Um, I don't want to do... I don't know if they're silly. No, they, they, they don't feel like they're silly. No, they're not. So I'm going to... We're going to do spirited promo. We're going to grind that up some. Yeah, there we go. All right. And that can go... Uh, That's fine, honestly. Yeah, that's fine. Ah, you know what? That actually works because then the spirited promo is Farouk and Bradshaw having a backstage poker game with a bunch of other talent and maybe some like roadies and stuff, and then it's interrupted by a flying Hiroshi Tanahashi being thrown into the table by Dan Sever. Yeah, and they're all like, "Hey, hey, hey!" Okay, um, we can go with one segment. Yeah, that's fine. Show. That's fine. I would say go for it. I'd say roll. Right. Let's do it. So, Hurricane versus Hardy. Um, Hardy's doing great. Hurricane, not so much. Let's get Hurricane a win. Yeah. Bam. Not a very intense match. I threw it together, so of course not. 
hype package. Everyone's yeah, so everyone, excited for everyone WrestleMania. Everyone excited for WrestleMania. We're so close to this getting gold. Oh, oh my that's going to be so great. All right. So, uh, add finish. Um, I want... It says interference DQ. You want, like, a post-match beatdown. Yeah, I guess I kind of did. But that's okay. Um, I'd still want the interference. So, we're going to get Vampiro. And uh, Tenta will win. Which will continue to put Tenta over. Raven's already pretty hot. He's so, fine. the interference causes a participant to get disqualified. If Tenta wins, Vampiro comes out and attacks Raven. No. No? Yes, that the person who wins is the person who uh, isn't disqualified. Oh, God, I hate how they phrase that. Okay. Right. Then, um, yeah, John Tenta wins. Okay. And I don't think, even if I fuck this up, the game keeps track of the internal logic of that situation. So, who cares? Who cares? Tenta gets a win. Interference DQ. A lot of stuff happened. But they got... A whole it. star, man. Yeah, they, they didn't. They didn't care. This for game that. really like incentivizes you to never do shit like that. I don't know why. <sighs> All right, new power, and I think that's mostly because we haven't done that promo much. Like a dusty finish yeah. is fine. A lot of fans hate it. Especially, I mean, look, I hate it too. But like on a nothing match in the middle of the card, building to a pay per view, that's much more forgivable. Man, you've seen wrestling fans on the internet. That's fair. <laughs> How dare they disqualify my boy? This, this storyline's just begun. He's gonna get revenge. I can't believe you're burying him! I I don't know. Okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> uh, Fruka Bradshaw there. Good promo. 100% effective. Got our boys some... Look look how close Spirited Promo is. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah. Alright. Fight backstage. Nice. People Very love good. this. Hot segment. Mm-hmm. All right, and uh, this here, I'm thinking, hmm. Um, what's the morale at for Homebreakers, Inc.? Homebreakers, Inc. is at 88% morale. I would say give this to Homebreakers, Inc. They're, yeah. they're the fucking, they're the established tag team. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's, he's right on over. that. He's yeah, right on he's that. on the line at the moment. That's fine. Severn is happy, so our massages and cupcakes worked. Good. Um, and we'll just have to get Liger some some good. Uh, yeah, I'd say in I'd say in the weeks coming up, they can mm-hmm. both get some good feud stuff. Oh, Here they go. like that. Good promo battle, hot segment. Nice, nice. Um, and then this happens. So Eddie Guerrero is at ninety eight hundred. Mick is at ninety two ninety eight. I think Mick takes it back here. Yeah, agreed. Keeping it going. Yeah, nice. Cool. All right. It was an okay show. By our standards. Yeah. <laughs> it's only like an almost five-star event. All only right. eight million people watched it. <laughs> nobody nobody uh, got fans other than us. We are the... the we are the all-consuming Charybdis. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So over on Thursday Night Thunder, we got Triple H versus Stone Cold, which is still rolling. Gangrel versus Shawn Michaels. They're building to a WrestleMania title match because Shawn asked us nicely. Uh, Kane versus Jacqueline. Um, there's a whole thing about disrespect that's going to blow off at WrestleMania. Medusa versus Lee to the Generation Gap that's going to blow off uh, the night before WrestleMania, the, the Thunder before WrestleMania. Um, X Pac versus China and Billy Gunn versus Road Dog are born out of the DX dissolution and can blow off whenever. Um, Goldust versus The Rock is because <laughs> The Rock has been cast as the Scorpion King in the new Mummy sequel. And the gold dust. He likes loves scorpions. scorpions. He loves them. Way- He's known for that. Clearly, this has been something we've talked about this whole time. How much gold dust loves scorpions? Oh my god! Have him just have him go at gold dust during this gimmick for reasons that are never spoken on. Will be coming out in black and white occasionally. I love scorpions. <laughs> it's my thing. <laughs> sure. Great. Uh, we have the Aranese for Bradshaw thing. Ah, we did Mortis versus La Parca. Wow, I don't think I've seen a feud at three staleness for years. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. <laughs> the skeleton war is not over with the people. You know what? Here's my uh, here's my idea with that, all right? We're going to put it in game theory? <laughs> when, nah, but I like your, your head. Let's get game theory soon. But uh, 
Let's do Medusa. Okay. okay. And um, Mortis. Where are you at, Mortis? Right there. Yeah. Medusa is a heel, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, versus, versus Laparka. And Lita. And Lita. Okay. And a tag match? Just a tag match. That should help both of those get over. Got an alignment boost. I think we'll see some good action here. Okay. All right. Um, I was going to say having Billy Gunn and X Pac maybe like wrestle a different tag match. But let's hang on to that. Let's book some of the other stuff. Um, so, Kane and Jacqueline is at five of six staleness. We've got three shows to WrestleMania. We did take a hit, I believe, from the end of the the last feud that was at six staleness at Wrestle or at the pay per view. So, should we kind of stick to promos? You think? Stick to promos or wrap it up early. Either one. Well, I mean, WrestleMania is going to be a big card. It's going to sound dumb. Sorry for the behind-the-scenes stuff. Can you check to make sure we're on the right mic? My brain is not letting me think about it. All right, here you go, guys. You ready for the greatest sound in the world? Okay, good. Uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, but I would say either stick to promos or just wrap it up early. Oh, we got so much room on the WrestleMania card, I think we'll be good. Plus, we're not going to have the TV title on there. So, so yeah. Um, maybe this could be a game theory. Have we done that for this already? We'll find out. Do talk show. Yeah, do talk show. Because Triple H can't, uh, wrestle through the week, so. Talk show. Triple H. Or no, no. Hold on. I remember how I have to do this. Click that. Already helped. Okay. All right, Smack Talk. Talk show unavailable. So, yeah, we can do it. Talk show. Uh, triple H. Kane. I have a Jackie. Yeah, nice. Cool. Um. All right, let's see here. Goldust and the Rock. Um. Gangrel and Shawn Michaels, that'd be a fun tag match, but let's hold off on that. Hmm. All right, so Triple H versus Stone Cold. We need a segment for that. Uh, what have we not used? Masked Attacker, Unlikely Partners, Home Invasion's always good, Car Destruction. Um... No title shot there, so that's not necessary. Or one of the repeatables. Um, so I think one of the repeatables would be fine. Um, Triple H kind of took an L at the pay-per-view. Mm -hmm. Because I believe all the faces went over last pay-per-view. Yes. Yeah. And he lost, three, he lost two prominent members of his stable. I think... Triple H should, if possible, come out on top in a thing over Stone Cold. Okay. Uh, just to keep just just to keep this from being Stone Cold ruins Hunter Hearst Helmsley's life. <laughs> All right. So we need to elevate. We need to escalate the the rage between them. Last week, Stone Cold just kind of laughed at him. Yeah. This week, and then they fought. This week, I think um, the Triple H is just going to keep up the intensity and just attack him backstage. He comes out. He does his talk show. We're like, okay, it looks like Triple H is cool. He is not cool. He is absolutely not cool. So we'll Perfect. do that. And stuff can go in between those. That's fine. Um, let's try for another wrestling match here. So we have Gangrel versus Shawn Michaels. We've got X-Pac versus China, Goldust versus Rock, and Billy Gunn versus Road Dog. We also have our tag team feud. Let's book that. Yeah. Um, could do the old singles match thing with that one. Uh, if we do the singles match thing, that'd be one thing. I think that this is still low enough that it could use a segment, to be honest. Okay. All right. I mean, that's, we might as well get that done while we're sitting here. It's what our few. It's what our Fed is good at. <laughs> yeah, we do a lot of good segments. Um, Something to get hype up for the feud. So something with some with some red lightning bolts. There's always the good promo battle. The only other one is Smack Talk. Um, I think promo battle. I don't think anyone really needs to go over the other one. 
Uh, Baruch and Bradshaw beat the beat the Aaronies twice. So, yeah. So, uh, okay. Um. One thing I do want to do at some point during this pay per view cycle doesn't need to be today. I uh, want it's a little higher. Um, is get Aaronies versus Farouk and Bradshaw in a non-title match. Have the Aaronies win that to get a contendership shot, contendership shot at WrestleMania. Let's try to remember that for next week. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a tag team heavy show. I just really like these ideas. Like, uh, look, man, sometimes it's like that. Sometimes it is. So let's get HBK. Um, Goldust is a Helia. Goldust versus The Rock and. Uh, Gangrel. <laughs> Whatever, You're man. You're the Rock's partner. This is the show. You're the Rock's partner. Why are you the Rock's partner? Gangrel just smiles. Yeah. I'm a vampire, lol. <laughs> We're the faces. You want a match against Shawn Michaels to earn the right to, earn the right to challenge for his title? Gangrel smiles and nods. <laughs> banging and banging, bro. <laughs> okay. The world is upside down. <laughs> um, I think that can be our main event. That's fine. Hell yeah, dude! That's so, the Rock and Shawn Michaels. Yeah, yeah, that's our main event. So we've got X Pac in China, Billy Gunn and Road Dog. Those are our remaining feuds. Um, I did like the idea of having X Pac and Billy in uh, a tag. Team? Yeah, in a tag team against someone else, but that wouldn't grow the few. And we have six left. Yeah, fuck it. Um, do we want to actually go through and make X Pac and Billy a, a named tag team? We could probably do it through a promo here. Oh, we could probably do it through a promo here, and then there um, you go. Yeah. A uh, segment. Hmm. Team. team. Uh, trio of heels. No, not that. Create tag team. No, not a feud. Um, well, there's not just a create tag team. How bizarre. Is it because I'm in the feud section? How absolutely bizarre. New Alliance? No, that's... Yeah, it's a, it's a trio of Okay, heels. then let's just go to the book and make him a team. <laughs> All right. Uh, manage. Uh, roster. Teams. Teams. We don't already have them on a team, do we? No, Road Dog in China. That's, yes. Yeah, that's... Cool. It. All right. Um, <laughs> the New Edge Outlaws. <laughs> uh, let's see. Billy Gunn and X-Pac. Who I remind you is over. Someone did post um, when we started doing Face X Pac uh, video of One Two Three Kid versus Razor Ramon, where One Two Three Kid won, mm -hmm. and it was like thunderous applause. Um, but that was before X Pac. Look, it's not impossible. It's just unlikely. What's I mean? Look, the part of me for the meme of the series wants to name them the New Age Outlaws, but um, I mean it's not terrible. <laughs> Billy Gunn's like, you've been replaced, bitch. <laughs> Road Dog and Billy barely got to tag together in in this universe, so because of weird glitches. It's not terrible. Is anything else tying them together? Aside from being former members of DX who don't want to hang out with those guys anymore? Um, X-Pac loves to point at his penis and Billy Gunn is proud of his butt. Do we want to name them genital fixation? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but we gotta spell fixation with a Y so it's cooler. <laughs> and the capital X. Yes. Look at us remaking Billy and Chuck several years <laughs> early. Um, um, you wouldn't think X Pac was the top, but there you are. Uh, <laughs> uh, I say just go with New Age Outlaws. Yeah. Ooh. We destroyed WCW. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Sean Waltman! Sean Waltman making a fucking king to your roast! Alright, uh... Who could they go up against? What about Christian's neutral? Landstorm's a heel. Hmm. Oh, wait, their faces. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Faces, Christian yeah. and Landstorm. That sounds great. Just to show they're gonna, off. they're, they're gonna win. They're, they're winning that. How we, we agree, that? right? Yeah. And then we can just do a promo that advances the feuds. Yeah. Um. You know what? I'm not. Let, let's let's grind up the the fucking feud package. Like, it's, uh, it's those so are garbage. still kind of low. Those feuds, though, in terms of red ups they are um let's see where's the feud pack there it, oh, it gets eight okay let's go for it like it might not be a good segment but let's do the one with x-pac in china sure and then um and then we can have like a like that can go down here somewhere and then they can just have like an argument yeah, and uh, then the other feud can just be Billy over. and Road Dog can be like, "Can you replace me?" Oh, I see how it is. After their win, yeah, they like Road Dog can come like to Billy out like in the backstage. Like, you think I- I'm that replaceable? Yeah, you are. And then he just walks by him. They haven't done smack talk, so we'll do that. <laughs> points, points. I mean, we won, didn't we? Turns out, yeah. All right. Oh, uh, shit! There's something we need to fix. What's up? Triple H is still their manager. So he is. So we gotta go fix that. Manage. Uh, managers. Let's manage the managers. Uh, Triple H. Um, no, 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 no. I, I did the right thing there. Hold on. Uh, remove. Triple H from Billy Gun. Remove. And? X-Pac. X-Pac. Remove. You know what? While we're here, uh, Raven and Impero, Impero. and Raven. Add. Add. Cool. All right. Good beans. Uh, back to the book. So I believe this is all of our feuds taken care of. Yes. Yes. So, uh, let's get some wrestling on here. Let's get some of the guys who aren't usually there. Um, Norman Smiley, great morale, bad overness. Have him win a match. Um, against who? We've got a lot of faces. Face you know versus what? face. We can do a fatal four-way. Oh, I like it. Um, Smiley, uh, El Samurai, Patriot, um... Steve Blackman. Steve Blackman's a face. Oh, you want at least one heel? Yeah. I suppose we could just do a Fatal 4-Way for faces. Yeah, four, a, a Fatal Face-Way. Face, a Face 4-Way. I like how we both said that different ways. <laughs> I like yours better. <laughs> uh, let's put that in there. No, that does not belong that high up. Um, and then uh, Jeff Hardy. Let's get him. Um... I don't want to bury Phineas. The only other option is to have Phineas win that match. Yeah, let's just get him a win over Phineas. It's not going to be huge. Um, <laughs> I like how you get him a win, have Phineas win that match. Well, that's not fucking happening. I mean, do you want to have Phineas win that no! match? No! Okay. <laughs> like, I would be up for it. I just Unless don't think it's a good Unless by cheating, idea. maybe. But then we'd have to start a feud, and do we want fin- Jeff Hardy no. to be feuding with Phineas I got? No, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Well, wait a minute. What's Jeff's charisma? Big. Um. Yeah, big. No, huge. He's over. He's so over. What about what about Phineas? To the two. Yeah, Phineas is bad because he can't wrestle. Right. All right. Fuck it. We're doing it. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Add feud. Okay. There's so many feuds over here. Uh. Banana theft? I don't think that's necessary. Phineas <laughs> <laughs> like Ogden, erudite man, a man of education, uh, <laughs> wonderful banana thief, smarter than you. 
<laughs> Why Jeff Hardy? Why Jeff Hardy always on on God getting attacked by fucking assholes? <laughs> he ain't do nothing. I think that's what makes him the baby face. If he had done something, it'd be like, well, but he's Jeff Hardy. <laughs> no, he's he's like the cleanest baby face we have next to Kurt Angle. All right, other than the drugs. Uh, let's play this. Do you want to try to fill out the last segment? Or nah, fuck it. Right. One short for both is fine. <clears throat> Got plenty of time, too. All right, Laparka and Lita. Um, I think they win. I think they win. Yeah. Work to strengths. Nice. Good. Got nice. a little bit of that juice. Uh, there's this. I mean, mostly just experience for I a feud package. You know why Trips is still there? Because it probably takes effect after the thing. You're don't worry about right. it. Yeah, I'm not going to worry too much about it. All right. The New Age Outsiders go over. Yeah, they do. <laughs> nice. Bam. Lance Storm got over from... Oh, that just built everybody up. Yeah, because it was such a hot match. It was a hot match. Great. All oh, the oh. tag team started out strong. This is fantastic. Um, Billy Gunn and Road Dog are both talking. Uh, let's let's get Road Dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Okay. His feelings are oh a hype segment. Oh, that's so good, dude. Thirty one. Thirty one. Oh my God, Road Dog. Get Road Dog is just the king of the microphone. He is, dude. All right, promo for Farouk Bradshaw on the Aranies. Another hot segment, dude. Can we just talk about this week's thunder? <laughs> uh. Three amazing competitors in the ring. Uh, um, well, their morales are all kind of rough. What's no, Norman Smiley's? What's okay? So maybe give the win to Patriot. I'm thinking here. Patriot here. Yeah. yeah. Norman Smiley, eh, he loses too. That's all right. Yeah, it was not a great match. It was not a great match. Oh, but Bradshaw's gimmick progressed. I didn't notice that before. Nice. Awesome. Fun-loving bully. <laughs> <laughs> Noogie time. Bam! Triple H. It's great. I love it. <sighs> so, uh, wait, you, what, I mean, fuck already. What's. What? <laughs> Cheating. And, and and Phineas I Godwin wins. Snooch is a win. They're so mad about it. A whole half star would have been three stars. That's not bad. It starts out at 42. That's not bad for this feat. No, that's not bad at all. Um, And then Triple H. Well, they're both in great shape. So, but yeah, let's let's get Triple H a, a victory here. Yeah, his morale's perfect. So, a little bit, just seven hype, just seven hype, just a little bit, a little, a little bit. cherry on yeah, top bit, for this bit, fucking bit. amazingly over feud. All right, Gold Dust and Shawn Michaels, seventy-five uh, percent morale, good overness. Uh, Ganger on the Rock, way better. Okay, so yeah, the the, the heels take this here. The heels take this. We're just one. doing some. This week is about balancing. Mm-hmm. And it's fucking working, dude. It's doing good. It's doing good shit. All right. What did that show get? About the same. Cool. Consistent product. Nine mil... Thunder took Raw. (laughs) Yes, this was such a good show. I agree. Okay. Two shows, WrestleMania. Let's get in this book. Um, I think John Tenta needs to come out and have a promo about how he's not going to back down. Raven can bring all of his friends. Yeah, just, just hire as many mercenaries as you want. Yeah. Bring as many. Bring as many people. I'm the monster. I'm John Tenta. I'll kill you. You know, I'll, I'll eat you all. Yeah. Uh, great. Um, let's see. Let's get Jericho uh, Angle on the show. Okay. Um, you said you wanted to do a Talk as Jericho there. Yeah, how many participants can we do in a Talk as Jericho? Three is the total. The talk show host and the two people. The intention is the talk show host and two people feuding. Right. Hmm. I wonder if I can rook this. All right. What's your What's your idea? Hurricane's not in a feud. Hurricane's not in a feud. What's up with that? <laughs> uh, My second guest tonight is the Hurricane. Uh, well, his second guest tonight is someone who's taking over host duties because he has some things he wants to say to Kurt Angle. I'm sorry. Are we in? Are we in the eye of the Hurricane? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. The Hurricane got his eye on you. Welcome to the Eye of the Hurricane! No, 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 no. Don't rename the show, Junior. 
<laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, my fault. My fault. Uh, okay, so um, <sighs> Dan Seven Hiroshi Tanahashi. You think they just like hit each other again? Or maybe Hiroshi wins again? Where's Dan's morale? No, Dan's a fucking diva. I don't want him losing too many more matches. Yeah, his morale's garbage right now. He's a he's a giant he's a giant preening. I diva say let's just record. run them in segments. Um, promo ambush. We haven't done that. Or have Dan win a couple matches? Because remember, Tanahashi wanted the pay per view to establish that he can beat Dan. But Dan making a point to spend like a few weeks beating him down, and then he wins at the pay per view again. So Dan's heel, right? Um, I'm thinking Dan goes to the whiteboard, and he sees Dan Severn versus Hiroshi Tanahashi, and goes, "No." Goes backstage. Tanahashi's talking about how he's going to win this match with Dan Severn, just like he did at the pay per view. Dan destroys him. Looks dead in the camera and goes, "Find another opponent." Nice! We can give Dan a win there without giving away the goose. I like it. I like it. Because I agree with you definitely that Dan Severn should just get a win. Um, he's, he's Dan goddamn Severn. Sorry, Matt. Your, your job uh, are the stars right now. He's 4 and fucking 12, dude. Is there no one else? <laughs> Ultimo, I'd just be worried that he'd break. Oh God, he is a little fragile. He's a little me. fragile. Um, and anything else is batting out of his weight class. Yeah, way out. Sorry, Matt. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Matt. You know what? We'll try to we'll try to make an effort to build Matt soon. Now, you know what? I'll write it down. I don't want Matt Star to build up. Matt Hardy uh, next available feud. I big just... wins, big love for big money, Matt. I just don't want him <laughs> to end up as Evan Bourne. No, I don't think anybody wants that. Okay, there we go. That can go there. Um, so our other feuds <coughs> are uh, Jushin Liger versus Sable, McFoley versus Eddie, and Owen versus The Godfather. Um, hmm. Um, maybe have. Maybe you have one of those, the Owen Godfather, Sable, um, Jushin feud. One of them be a match and one of them be a segment and then flip it around the next week. Okay. All right. I like where your head's at there. Um, I'm going to book this quietly down here. Uh, we can have Pierre Roulet and Vampiro go over Scott Taylor and Brian Christopher, who just got a win. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Just pumping up the flock. I like it. Um, okay. So, uh, the tag feud is, or the non-tag feud is what you were talking about. One's yeah. a segment, one's a promo. Okay. Or, one's a segment, one's a match. Make the one that's more over the match, and then the one that's less over the segment. This week. Okay, good call. So, let's do just a straight-up match. Straight-up match is fine by me. Okay. Sable needs more ring time. Yeah, we can give Jushin a win here, honestly. Yeah. That's what's going to keep her angry, because he's like... How dare you? How? <laughs> Leave me alone. Look, do we need to settle this in the ring? You know what? You think you're so tough? Yeah, let's settle in the ring. And then he just wins. He's like, okay, done. Please gonna... stop bothering me. <laughs> and that only infuriates her more. Yes. Um, Owen Hart was Godfather. Uh, let's see, do we have a backstage attack on here already? No, we have promo ambush. I think backstage attack's good. I think Godfather just... You're showing up, you want... <laughs> shows up, hits him with his pimp cane. Sure. Like, in the knee. Like, takes out his knee and just begins wailing on it. And then he goes... At the end, he goes, It was a rib! Ha ha ha! Whack, whack, whack! How about that? Was that your ribs? Whack! <laughs> uh, all right. Awesome. So, Mick See? Foley versus Eddie. Um, Maybe another match. Maybe a, maybe a tag match. We could do a tag match. How could we, we could do... that? We could do uh, just a promo. We've got a lot of promos. Uh, is there a cool match we could put on in its place? Maybe the world champion in action against someone else. Mm, mm, okay, okay. Um, 
who could the world champ fight? What about... Oh, that one doesn't count for the feud. Never mind. I was uh, going to say Angle versus Foley, and then Eddie comes out to interfere. I mean, we can just book that. So. Oh, we can just book it a triple threat. Yeah. 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 Or we could book Angle versus Eddie, or uh, Angle versus uh, Foley, and then book a promo after that. Yeah, we could. We do have five left. Okay. All right. Angle versus Foley. That'll be our match. And then Angle wins. Not for the title. Not for the title. And then... And then Eddie Guerrero... Uh, uh, did we have fight already? No, we don't. So, yeah. And then they, they like... I know we can repeat it. I just don't like to if we don't have to. Yeah, that's fine. Um, but, yeah, there we go. Um, we could even... It'll, you know... I know they don't like it. But we could even have the match go to, like, a no contest or whatever because Mick ends up just abandoning the match to fight Eddie Guerrero. <laughs> um, or, or, like I said, we could do interference. Eddie Guerrero comes in and is like, fuck you, Mick. Yeah. And then they fight. Yeah. Um, my urge there would be to make it a title defense to make it even more harsh, but it doesn't make sense. It'd be very random. Um, Jericho would have some shit to say about that. Yeah. Uh, what do you think uh, Farouk and Bradshaw get a win over um, the Millennium Dragons? Or Millennium Dragons get a non-title win over Farouk and Bradshaw? I like that better. You do? Okay. It sets up that there are contenders or that maybe the Aranees are getting to them? Um, it could set up that the Aranees are getting to them. It's also something I... Oh, yes, shut fuck off. They're both faces. Uh <laughs> it's fine. I, I don't know what its alignment boost means. Me neither. So whatever. Um, I like that also because I like getting a tag team from the non from the show that's not getting tag that's not in the tag team title feud a win because it shows that the tag team division is competitive even if you're not on the show that's currently in the title picture. We did that the same way in reverse before. Yes. Um. Oh, not feud. There's not just, like, a faction promo, right? No. Cool. Um, I'm thinking just a big heel promo. Can a faction do a heat promo? Yes. Cool. Let's just build these boys. Put it out here. They got some time. They're main eventers. Future main eventers. So they'll... they'll... <laughs> um, <clears throat> which, I mean, they, they may well be. Uh, all right, I think that's good. We'll still be one match down, but... That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. All right. 12 is a bit much, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> okay. Uh, Dan Severn ambushes Hiroshi Tanahashi. Yes. Starting strong. Everybody fucking loved that. Find me a different opponent. The flock looks good. Not a bad match. Not a bad match. John Tenta talks about... Oh, nice. Nice. Very hype. They, that was a good promo. Uh, Jushin Liger beats Sable. Feud got hot. Liger's over again. Perfect. Uh, Godfather attacks Owen backstage. Fantastic segment. Great shit. Um, Millennium Dragons beat Fruken Bradshaw, right? Yeah. Okay. Hey, it was a good match. Hot match. Ah, nice, nice. nice. nice good. Just like everybody got over. Makes it seem competitive, you know. Yeah. And two sets of face teams beating each other isn't a huge deal. That I'm not surprised. I'm just glad. The hurricane, the hurricane got some The hurricane got popular from just from just hosting talk at Jericho. Yeah. That's what we wanted. Yeah. Dan Severn eats Matt Hardy. Sorry, Matt. Nom 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 nom. I'm Dan Severn. <laughs> That's exactly what he sounds like. The flock is good. Everyone Four agrees. Stars, not bad. That was a promo with Pierre Roulet in it, and it got. Fucking four and a quarter stars. Yeah, we're, we're using your ideas to help get Pierre Relay over. Uh, okay, so do we want to do a disqualification? Or we do we have Eddie interfere? So, the fans will dislike it. They will. We could just pretend to do it and not actually press the button. But I we feel could. like that's cheating. I mean, yeah, let's let's take our minuses. It's not like it's a perfect We are show. very popular. We, yeah, can we can afford to, make, afford make, to mistakes. make mistakes. Add finish. Uh, interference DQ... Eddie Guerrero comes in and Kurt Angle wins. 
because he gets beat up. Er... Mick Foley wins. Yes, Mick Foley wins because Kurt Angle gets beat up. God, interference is so hard sometimes. It's so fucking simple until you think about it. You, who does he attack? <laughs> that's that's You click the button of the person being attacked. Right. Okay, so we lost a star from that. That would have been a great match. But everybody got over. Well, Kurt Angle, no change. Foley got over. Um, and then we continue to the, the fight that happens afterward. And we close the show on a high note. No, oh, on a very high note. Yeah. Nice. Cool. And this didn't... This did. Look. Yeah, it got it got things up a little bit. But it counts. It counts. That's the important thing. So we know that. Let's write that down. Yeah, because... It, it, Stuff we've learned. Uh, having someone interfere... Having someone interfere in a match... That the person they're feuding is a part of... Counts for the feud. Cool. Learning, everyone. Education is powerful. It's fundamental. Six, oh, we did 68? a better show than last week. Nice. Wow. Good show. Good show. Lots of fans. Nine Nobody else million. gets fans. <laughs> Sorry, other wrestling shows. I have a very... I have a straw, and my straw goes all the way across the fan base. <laughs> all right. Let's squeeze Thunder in there, and then uh, switch to the next episode. Um, okay. So, we said we needed to do Game Theory. For who? Um, scroll down through the feuds. We'll figure it out. Was it Rock and Gold Dust? Oh, it was Kane and Jacqueline. We did that one. Okay, so uh, that was the one I wanted to do. So whichever oh, okay. other one you're interested in, not the DX ones. Mortis and Laparca. Okay, sure. That yeah. was it. We we're trying to build them up through. Yeah, trying to get <laughs> give them every advantage we can manage. They'll they'll get over. We'll get them there. I just need to make sure they haven't done the feud. Top I, I don't think so. No. no. So, all right. So, triple H, hosting game theory. Hosting game theory with Mortis and Leparka. Did I click talk show? I put him in a match because I'm dumb. Instead of clicking singles there, I clicked it elsewhere. Uh, Mortis, Leparka. All right, talk show. Uh, and then right after that, we can do promo ambush with Stone Cold ambushing Triple H. He attacks him right after Game Theory. Yeah, because he's mad from last week. Uh, yes, we have not done promo ambush, so there we go. Done. Okay. Um, let's get another match in there. Um, oof, that's running up on staleness. Uh, this, you said you wanted to get the air and he's a win. Yeah, so that so, they so they earn a title shot. This is a good week for that. Yes, I agree. Uh, book that. No, not for the title. Let's get... not That's immediately after. So, there-ish. We can move it later. Yeah, once we have some more stuff, yeah. we'll fill it in. Um, okay. Billy Gunn and Road Dog has still got more legs. Well, that's But that's got to be a promo because Road Dog's sloth. Uh, That's probably why it has more legs. Although, if we're blowing this off of the pay-per-view, we've got plenty for two shows. Yeah. Just make both of their appearances. Make lock X-Pac versus China in as promos until the pay-per-view, unless they manage to wiggle some more staleness. Yeah. But we, well, we need to do at least one promo. The other one can be a match they're involved in. Yeah. Um... So, uh, let's wait for that one to see what else we need. Yeah. Goldust versus The Rock has a lot of staleness. So does Jeff versus Phineas, but that should probably be a promo for promo reasons. Yeah. Uh, Goldust and Rock. Hmm. All right, this might be stupid. I'm listening. What if? Okay. Um, because the heels won last week. They did. What if The Rock goes, this is dumb. I was dragged down by the stupid vampire. Okay. Put me on a team with Shawn Michaels. He might be an asshole, but he is the champion. You'll see what The Rock can do. Yes. So it's just the last show. But switched? But two, two members switched. Okay, I like it. All right, cool. I was... You had me on a team with a dumb vampire. Shawn Michaels... Even Goldust and Gangrel are kind of like... Oh, this just makes more sense. 
Do you like scorpions? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I prefer, though? What's that? Vampire bats. I don't know why I asked. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. <laughs> All right. Okay. So we got a main event. That's good. Um. Hmm. How's Blackman doing? Not, not so good. Maybe we should get him a win. Against whom? Yeah. Um. Must want to. Portland Storm. Most of that wasn't here. It might just be a segment heavy show, man. I guess, like, you know, sometimes we got to deal with that. So let's get the stuff that's got to be a segment. Jeff and Phineas. Um, just because it needs to be over. Yeah. And and their their charisma is what's going to carry this. Uh, that's actually a fine place for that. And then... Um, Kane and Jackie has to be a segment because they're so close to stalemates. That could just be a fight, honestly. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Um, probably put that up. You know, I'll arrange it later. I really just don't know. We'll, we'll book it and then we'll figure that shit out, okay? Uh-huh. Um, so Billy Gunn and Road Dog can be another promo. Um, could be a backstage attack. Road Dog could attack Billy. Yeah, that's true. Do we have one of those yet? No, we have promo ambush. So, we'll do that. Um... Okay. So that leaves us with X-Pac and China, which can either be a promo or a match. We do need matches. We do. And I think... And Medusa, Medusa versus Lita. Lita. Which can definitely just be a match. So in that sense, kill two birds with one stone. Uh, China's the heel. So China Medusa. China Medusa. And that's great anyhow. Which is with Lita and X Pac. But she's a face, so it, as weird as it sounds, it's not that weird. Oh, and I got an alignment boost. Nice. No, I mean, yeah, they're just they're just <clears throat> young kids who are like well, relatively young people who are like cool at this point. X Pac is significantly less skeevy as a face. So I could see this being a situation where it's obvious on paper to a fan what's gonna happen. But China's like, look, X Pac. You think you and Billy Gunn, your new age outsiders, are so cool? I've got a real legend wrestling with me. You can't beat us. And it's her and Medusa. And, uh, but before the match, Road Dog, in his fury, attacks Billy Gunn. And it's like, oh no, X Pac, what are you gonna do? Lita, obviously. <laughs> the fans are like, yeah, that's the thing we wanted! Yeah! <laughs> uh, okay, we got four segments left we can use. This balanced out pretty well. Um,. Norman Smiley, I wouldn't mind him getting a win. Uh, we gotta build these guys, that's the thing, right? You only get new stars by building them, and you only build new stars by having them beat current stars. Yeah. Um, I tell you what... Wow, they're just, their win-loss records are so... big. Yep. What, how about El Samurai? Not that bad. Patriot, he still needs building up. We've been kind of rough on him. Um, ooh. Maybe have Norman Smiley do a promo. I know we need matches, but like that's another way you can get someone up. Is yeah, well, slap a microphone in their hand and let them get themselves. He's over. got two charisma. That's not bad. Okay. Uh, just a spirited promo. I don't think it's going to get us to the next level of it unless the dice rolls are like, nope, Norman Smiley did amazing. So, there's that. <clears throat> okay. And then a match to help balance things. Um, okay. All right, here's an idea. All right, I'm listening. It's not going to be a great match, but that's not the point. Patriot goes over Triple H because Stone Cold attacked Triple H. Oh, and you could do that because, like, he does game theory. Stone Cold attacks him immediately and, like, beats him up. And then he goes, he's like, I got... He like goes to the person in charge, like you got you got to get me out of my match. I I'm, I'm all banged up. Like I I got a match. Like I can't wrestle like this. And the person in charge is like, eh, match isn't a match, man. That's not my business. Your my business is booking the show. 
We're just earlier with Billy. What? Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe Triple H said something really mean about him like earlier or last week, and and he's like parrots it back, and Trips is like, <laughs> okay, uh, all right. Can we get another lower card match? Um, maybe a triple threat here. Lance Storm, Christian, Steve Blackman. Just see who needs it when we get there. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Um, you could throw in Norman Smiley. Nah, we got him doing a promo. That's fine. You could throw in El Samurai if you really wanted, but... Nah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Throw that somewhere. That's fine. Okay! Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, we got one left, but I don't think we need. That's kind of what we've been running, yeah. to be honest. I think we got we got the roster for eleven segments. <laughs> um, hey, Blake. Yeah, let's go. All right, Norman Smiley's like, "Hey guys, I love smiling," and they're okay with that. They're, yeah, they're okay with that, and that's what we wanted them to be. Um, Steve Blackman is at seventy ninety seven. Hundred hundred. Christian doesn't need it. Lance Storm is at seventy one hundred. So that's those guys are pretty close. Stats say Blackman has more, fewer losses. But uh, most of these did most not of happen those, no. in our fed. <laughs> no. So Lance Storm is all on a one match losing streak. So is Steve Blackman. So one of them. Christian's on a three match win streak. So that's really just yeah. fine. Um, Lance Storm is thirty. Blackman's thirty six. I'm going to give it to Lance. Okay, younger talent wins. All else being equal, younger talent wins. I like it. Okay, Road Dog attacks Billy Gunn. And people love it. They love it when he attacks Billy Gunn. Gotta do this. Get some of that heat. Uh, I think... 81, faces, 98. I think 90. the faces went over last time. So the heels should go over this time. Um, Because it was Lita and uh, La Parca versus Mortis. I think I'm almost positive the heels lost last time. Okay. So... Boom. All right. <laughs> Didn't work out, but that's okay. Wow, it did, did nothing for either of them. Oh, well. That did some shit, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh, the feud got hot. Nice. Fucking second week. Nice. Hot segment. Good job, guys. All right. The Aaronies win. They secure their title shot here. Yes. Um, that gives us the ability to close the pay-per-view with a contract signing. So sure. <laughs> Game theory happens. It is just fine. Did Skeleton Moore get some hype? It did. So it did its job. That is the worst game theory I think we've ever put on. There's only so much he can do, man. Don't call it to Extra Blade. That's fine. The fans were there for that. It was set up. It was just a... a... This game theory was set up for this segment. Mm -hmm. Trip and Patriot. Man, Triple H just taking straight L's this week. Yeah, poor Triple H. The game theory went fine. He, he was good in it, I'm sure. Fight backstage between these guys... Oh my god, people fucking loved it. Almost five stars. Jackie's starting to get over. Good. Hot segment. That's what I like to see. All right. And this nonsense. Uh, yeah, the morale's low. I think Sean and Rock should win this. Okay. Cool. Everybody got over from it. Hot match. People are liking it. Good to see. And it proves the Rock right. <laughs> it was All held right. back by the weird vampire. Yeah. All right, that'll be it for this episode, I think. Yes, I think so. Uh, we got... Uh, 9.26 million, 57 creative points. Mm -hmm. Good shit. Bye. <laughs>